Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of uterine polyps, also known as endometrial polyps. You can see the uterus. Overgrowth of cells in the lining of the uterus, that is endometrium, leads to the formation of uterine polyps, also known as endometrial polyps. Endometrial polyps are a common cause of abnormal uterine bleeding. On pelvic ultrasound, endometrial hyperplasia is characterized by a, a homogeneous increase in the endometrial thickness in the majority of the patients. However, endometrial hyperplasia may also cause asymmetrical focal thickening with surface irregularity, which should raise a suspicion for pregnancy malignancy. Now you can see the polyp in the, in the distal portion of the uterine cavity. No significant blood flow is seen. In some women, however, the growth of the cells becomes excessive, resulting either in flat or protruding growths called endometrial polyps or in a thickening of the endometrium called endometrial hyperplasia. Hyperplasia can lead to cancer if not treated. Women with atypical hyperplasia in a polyp were slightly more likely to have hyperplasia in the surrounding endometrium of those with, with complex hyperplasia. So the risk of endometrial hyperplasia in the polyps concurrently involving non-polypied endometrium is significant. Normally, the woman with nature, naturally expel these endometrial cells during menstruation. In some, some women, however, the growth of cells become, becomes excessive, resulting either in a flat or protruding growths called endometrial polyps or in a thickening of the endometrium called endometrial hyperplasia. Women with Atypical hyperplasia in a, in a polyp were slightly more likely to have hyperplasia in the surrounding endometrium than those with complex hyperplasia. The exact reason that a pol polyp form is unknown, but swings in the hormonal levels may be a factor. Estrogen, which plays a role in causing the endometrium to thicken in each month also appears to be linked to the growth of the uterine polyps. Endometrial hyperplasia is a condition in which the lining of the uterus grows too thick. Endometrial intraepithelial neoplasm, a precarious condition, a precancerous condition in which areas of the lining of the uterus grows too thick. It is rare for polyp to become cancerous if they are not causing any problems. Monitoring of the polyps over time is a reasonable approach. If you develop symptoms such as abnormal bleeding, however, then polyps should be removed and evaluated to confirm that there is no evidence of malignancy. Uterine polyps range in size from a few millimeters, no larger than a CCM seed, these several to several centimeters that golf ball size are large. They attach to the uterine wall by a large base or a thin stalk. The size of the polyp may be relevant, but those above 15 mm are thought more likely to lead to malignancy transformation. However, this is controversial and other researchers have found no link between the size of the polyp, hypertension, abnormal uterine bleeding and malignancy transformation. Endometrial polyps are benign nodular protrusions 
of the endometrial surface and one of the entities included in differential endometrial thickening endometrial polyps can either be sessile or pedunculated they can often be suggested on ultrasound or mri studies but may require sono asterography direct visualization of for confirmation you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks